creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you another one of those paper crafting DIYs that so many of you really seem to be loving. Today's paper crafting DIY is one that is super requested. I keep getting asked about it and I was promising you all that I'd bring it to you, but I was wanting to bring it to you closer to Christmas and it was a hot cocoa holder that resembled this tea bag holder that I had brought to you a few months ago. This is a holder that has, I want to say five envelopes in it and each envelope has a different flavored tea bag in it. And I just thought that this was such a fun way to gift tea and such a fun gift idea as well. And I had mentioned that I was thinking about making one for hot cocoa and hot apple cider and I wanted your input on it and so many of you loved that idea and you've been asking me about it ever since. And so that that's what I'm bringing to you today. I've got the cutest stinking hot cocoa slash hot apple cider holder that you are absolutely going to love. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let's do some paper crafting on a budget. A cute gift idea, a hot cocoa or a hot apple cider holder, because why not? Before we get started with the project today, I wanted to show you some of the items that you should most definitely keep your eye open for at your Dollar Tree if you're interested in paper crafting. Paper crafting doesn't have to be expensive. You don't need all the fancy tools and accessories to do it. Sure, it makes it fun, but you can really get away with just using these items that Dollar Tree carries by Crafter Square. This tape is just like the tape that comes in this dispenser that I use often that so many of you ask me about. You just manually dispense it instead of it being dispensed out of the advanced tape glider. If you're interested in this, you can find the link to this in my description box below on Amazon or you can pick one up at Michael's. Just make sure to take a coupon with you. Alrighty, let's get to crafting with some paper. Go grab that notebook and a pencil, that notebook that you've been keeping all the other paper crafting DIYs in and get ready to take some notes. Getting started with today's paper crafting DIY, I'm gonna start off with the envelopes that are inside that actually hold either the apple cider packets or the hot cocoa packets. They're both the same size, so whichever one you choose to use will work perfect for this. I'm gonna start off with my base color, which is brown. I'm going with two different color browns because I just wanted to add a bit of contrast. You're gonna need five pieces that measure out at four and a half inches wide by nine and a half inches long. So you're gonna need three pieces of cardstock, whether it is eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12. On the long side of our envelope base, this is the nine and a half inch side. We're gonna score at three and a quarter and again at seven and three quarters. And we're gonna do that to all five of our pieces. We're gonna fold in all of our scoring lines. The paper that I'm using today was a Craft Smart paper pack that was solid browns and beiges, and it has a texture to it, so that's what's gonna be on the outside of my envelopes. One side is textured, one side is flat, and so I really liked that texture of the paper. I feel like it adds just a little something to it, dresses it up just a bit. On these two corners here, I'm gonna take my corner rounder and I'm gonna round those. If you don't have a corner rounder, you don't have to do it. I think it just adds kind of a more finished look to it, softens up those edges just a bit. And these really aren't all that expensive. You can get them on Amazon, Hobby Lobby. I found that Hobby Lobby has them the cheapest, but now Joann's has that We Are Memory Keepers section, which is amazing. And um, you can get this smaller one, which is just super easy to use for about $3. Once we've got our corners rounded, we're gonna just take and open up our flap. 
We're gonna add some adhesive to this. You can use a Leans if you want. Dollar Tree has a double-sided adhesive. We're gonna fold it over and close up our envelope. I'll be using this decorative paper here, this hot cocoa paper, and it came in this Craft Smart paper pack that you can get from Michaels, and it has so many fun cardstock papers in it that I just absolutely love. This is one of my favorites, and when this went on clearance for $4.97, I bought four of them, four more, because I love it so much, and this is called Brew to Full Day. I love that. The decorative paper for the envelopes, you're gonna need five pieces that measure out at four inches wide by two and three quarter inches long. And you're gonna need another five pieces that measure out at four inches wide by one and a half inches long or wide, long, wide, long, wide, you pick. With these pieces that measure out at four by one and a half, the decorative paper that goes on the flap of the envelope, you wanna place it on there and see that your cups are right. They're not upside down. And on this bottom corner here, these two here, I'm gonna round those edges on all five pieces. We're gonna hit those with some adhesive. And those are gonna go right on the flap there. So now we've got our envelopes and on this bottom piece here, we're going to place all of these pieces here that measure out at four by two and three quarters. To close up the envelopes, I'm just gonna go with some of Dollar Tree's Velcro dots. This is an older pack, as you can tell by the packaging that I had in my stash. I use Velcro dots often, and so from time to time, I do stock up on them. And so with these, I'm gonna show you just a bit of a trick. You don't really need a whole Velcro dot. Um, so to get the most out of your Velcro dots, I cut mine in half after I put them together. So that way I can get two pieces out of one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and place this here in the center of my flap and then just close my flap here and you'll see that you've got your velcro and that's all you really need to hold these closed you don't need a full dot we've got all five of our envelopes done now it's time to just do the outside the cover to this now, because the cover to this needed to be just a bit longer and wider because it's bigger, a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock wasn't going to be big enough, but there's an easy remedy to that. You're gonna need a piece that measures out at four and a half inches wide by 10 and a quarter inches long, and your second piece is gonna measure out at four and a half inches wide by three and a quarter inches long, which is then going to give you a piece once we put it together that measures out at over 12 inches. We're at about 13 and a half inches is what we need. And since you can't get cardstock that long, we just kind of add to it, but we add to it in a way that hides it. And so that's very easy. And when we do this, we're gonna do it in the way that we add that half inch lip that we add to all the boxes and gift bags that's going to attach the two pieces. And you wanna do it in a place like I did on this piece here. We wanted, I wanted the piece to stop at the top of the envelopes and I just wanted to do the flap itself. And so you can see here that we just added the paper there and we did it on a crease so it's not gonna show. We're gonna start off with the 10 and a quarter inch long piece and we're gonna score this at three and a half. Five and a quarter and then again at nine and three quarters.
So you'll see here on this last scoring line, the nine and three quarter, this is gonna give us that half inch lip to attach the two pieces. Now taking the piece that is four and a half by three and three quarters, we're gonna score this on the three and three quarter inch side at one and three quarter inches. I'm gonna fold in all of my scoring lines here. So you can see that we have this here, which is basically the same thing as what we have here, but without this flap. On this three and three quarter inch piece that we scored at one and three quarters, you've got one side that measures out at one and three quarters and one side that measures out at two inches. The two inches is the flap that closes. So on this one and three quarter inch side, on the half inch flap here, we're gonna fold that in. We're gonna hit this with some adhesive. I'm gonna do two rows of adhesive just to really get it together. We're gonna take this piece and just lay it right on top here. So by adding those two pieces, we have now made this big enough to hold all five of our hot cocoa packets. On these four corners here, I'm gonna go ahead and round those in. The decorative paper that we'll be using for the cover, we're gonna start off with the front. So we've got the flap that closes it and then we've got the bottom part here. This piece measures out at four inches wide by three and a quarter inches. And on these top corners here, I'm gonna go ahead and round these. For the flap, the top, and the bottom, you're gonna need three pieces of decorative paper that measure out at four inches long by one and a half inches wide. And so I'm gonna round uh, the corners here for my flap. And then on the base as well, we're gonna add that piece. So this here is the cover to the envelopes for the hot cocoa packets. So now we need to add the piece here at the bottom that we're gonna attach the packets to. So this is what we are going to call the base of the envelopes, and this is gonna measure out at six inches long by three and a half inches wide. We're gonna score at three quarters, one and a half inches, two and a quarter, three inches, again at three and three quarter inches, four and a half, and lastly, five and one quarter. And so you'll be left with a piece that looks like this, folded like this. So we're gonna start off on one end, this end. We're gonna place some adhesive right here on the back side, whatever side, and we're gonna fold that in. So we just folded this piece. Now we want a flat piece here. We're gonna pinch it up so we've got this piece in the middle. So we've got a piece up, a piece up, and then we've got this flat piece in the middle. We're gonna flip this over place some adhesive on the back side there and pinch it together. So we've got this now. And then lastly, on this last piece, we're gonna add some adhesive. I, this is the most confusing part, but it really isn't, and fold it over. And so now we've just made a piece that looks like this. And this is what we're gonna attach our envelopes to. So to do that, 
on the back side of it, we've got these that are up. We're gonna flip it over. And on these two pieces here, we're gonna add some adhesive. We've got it upside down so it looks like this. We're gonna add some adhesive to those two pieces there. And you wanna be generous with that adhesive. We've got our cover here. This is the top flap, so when you open it, you've got this bottom piece here. We're gonna add our piece right in the center to that. And now you should be left with that. All that's left to do is to put this together and add some finishing touches onto this. And so I'm gonna start off by putting the envelopes in here. And so we're gonna just add some adhesive to the base. And then we're just gonna take our envelope, stand it up, centering it, and just press it right up against that there. And there we have one envelope. Lean that forward. Add some adhesive there. Add some adhesive here. And there we go. We've got our hot cocoa packets there. We've got five of them. If you wanted to add a sixth one, you could to the back, but it makes it kind of bulge out a bit. And so I don't typically do it, but if you wanted to, you could add a sixth one. We're gonna close this up. And to close this up, we are going to use our last half of Velcro that we had. And I'm gonna just place it here on the flap. Stand it up. And there we go. Look at how cute this is already. Oh, I love this. Now we just need to add some embellishments. My word, I seem to have lost all sound on this clip, so it's voiceover time. In most scrapbooking paper packs, you're gonna find sheets that look like this, and you're gonna get about four of them per pack. I'm gonna use this as a tag, as an embellishment for the front of my hot cocoa pack. So just by simply cutting it out, and rounding the corners, then putting some of Dollar Tree's 3D foam tape on the back of it just to elevate it a bit, and taking another piece of scrapbooking paper, which is a bit darker. This is from the same scrapbooking pack that I had. I'm gonna mat it. This is gonna dress it up, give it more of that embellishment look, cut out around it, round those corners, and just like that, we have made an embellishment for the front of our hot cocoa pack, which could serve as a gift tag. And I think I'll just add it right to the front there. And if I'm being honest, I feel like it's still missing something. I'm gonna give this a little hit with some hot glue. I'm gonna place the twine bow right in the center there. And that's how we're gonna finish this off. I think maybe inside, I'm gonna add a twine bow to each of the envelopes. And I'm gonna do it just one strand thick, I think. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, that's cute, it's very subtle and I think it adds a nice finishing touch and uh, that's just what I was looking for. The packets that I'm using today are the Swiss Miss Mint Chocolate, because I love mint chocolate. Anything mint chocolate is my favorite or caramel. But, and typically these envelopes, these hot cocoa pouches are a universal size and so they're gonna fit. And just like that, we've filled up our pouches. And now just to close this up and look at how perfectly that all fits. 
I love this. This is such a fun piece. It really is. And I'm glad I put this on the back. I think that it just kind of ties everything in together. Sometimes, you know, we'll leave the back empty or just add the decorative paper when paper crafting. But I really like the idea when you have such a big piece like this, adding something to the back. With this one here, this is perfect also for the spiced apple cider. You can add these spiced apple cider packets as well. So really we've just kind of covered all of the bases. If you're a hot cocoa drinker, you've got a holder. If you're a hot apple cider drinker, you've got a holder. And if you're a tea drinker, we've got a holder for that too. And boy oh boy, I tell you, when I gift them, people love them. If you're new to my channel and you didn't see this original DIY tutorial on how to make a tea bag holder to gift, oh my goodness, I love these, with five envelopes and you open up your envelopes and a tea bag fits in there. How stinking cute is that? And this one here matches today's hot cocoa DIY. This would make for a cute gift set as well. Just doing a hot cocoa or hot apple cider and tea bag together. How fun is that? If you haven't seen this tutorial on the tea bag holder and you want the measurements, I will link that in the description box below and on the end screen of this video. So all you have to do is tap on it and it'll take you right to the video. It's Wednesday and that means that Kayla is uploading a video. You'll want to head on over to her channel to see her review of some of the makeup that came in her FabFitFun box. You can find the link to her video in the description box below. Now tell me this would not make such a fun and cute gift idea. Oh my word, at Christmas time they always come out with those different flavored hot cocos that they don't have all year round. They've got like a French vanilla, a dark chocolate, a caramel, a mint, and how fun would it be if you picked up those and put a different flavor hot cocoa packet in each envelope. I love that idea. I think it's fun and I'm definitely going to be doing that this year for probably my neighbors here in my neighborhood. I hope you all enjoyed today's paper crafting DIY of this hot cocoa holder slash hot apple cider holder. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy paper crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay positive, and bye for now, everybody. <laughs>